Thank you for joining the daily record we are ahead of the 2023 Randox Health Grand National. We're here at the yard of leading jump trainer Lucinda Russell. Russell doesn't need any introduction when it comes to the world's greatest race, having startled the winner one for Arthur in 2017. And this year, she's got the favourite for the big one. Two-time Cheltenham Festival winner Corak Rambler heads the betting and has an outstanding chance of returning to Scotland with the prize. As well as Korak, Lucinda will be sending a Hoy Senor down as the double grade one winner attempts to win again at the entry meeting to maintain his outstanding season despite the unfortunate departure in the Gold Cup. I'm delighted to say Lucinda has allowed us in to have a look at the preparations and see how the build up's going ahead of the massive meeting at entry. I'm delighted to say we're joined by Lucinda Russell as we look ahead to entry. Lucinda, how are the preparations going for Corrad Rumble? Yeah, it's all been going really well. He had his um his prep run was it um was at Cheltenham, which is a little bit unusual because normally Grand National horses have a little bit uh, don't don't have a run quite so close to the national. But he's a horse that likes to have a run close to it. Um, since then, everything's been going fine. He's just been back in his normal routine, and we're just looking forward to entry and um, just getting him there and uh, having a good day. Obviously, he's had a brilliant season with a bit of recovery and then the success of the Cheltenham Festival. Has he progressed better than you thought he would? Yeah, he has. I mean, it's it's funny. So even last year after the ultimate, um, we didn't run him again. But Scoot said that he'd improved. Um, so we're really pleased with him. Um, and uh, he seems to have improved after that. And then he improved after the. Um, after the, the Colby Cup at, at Newbury as well. But uh, he had quite a lot of time before the ultimate for that, but um, he just seems to be the sick horse that he's getting better. And what do you think will suit him best for the test? I mean, you know what it's like to win the race? So. Yeah, I suppose my only worry is the fact that we haven't, he hasn't jumped around these fences before, but I, I just get dismissed that worry because um, he's a very clever horse and he jumps so well normally, and we're going to build him a fence here and, and make sure that uh, he jumps out okay. But I think he'll stay the track. The, the trip, I mean, obviously it's the longest trip we've ever run over, but his style of running where he sort of switches off and just, just logs along, I think, uh, I think that was his good. And you know the whole of Scotland behind you, Lucinda? Yeah, I know, it's a bit of pressure actually, but um, one for our particular pressure, I think, our exception as well. Yeah, from all of us, the very best of luck, we wish all the best. Thank you.